Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family to another Muscle Car Monday. And this Monday I thought we would show the Hot Wheels 1970 Roadrunner. But I got out a bunch of my case of plain or my uh, jammer full of uh, Plymouth. So we'll check these out. But this one looks really good in the gloss black with the orange pinstripe and the five spokes. I think this was from Muscle Car Garage or something. Or Muscle Cars. I used to try to collect all the Muscle Cars. till like a year or two ago when they started putting uh, freaking fantasy models in the Muscle Cars. But... Next one's a really cool. This was a Del Earnhardt Jr. I think they might have came out at Target or something. But this one's in flat black and just looks really freaking awesome. Absolutely love this one with the skull on it. Got a skull on the hood. And being flat black, they just freaking killed it. And just looking at all these Plymouth here, uh, I can tell you next Monday, I might have to get out some premium Plymouths from Auto Rolled or something. I know this Monday I was supposed to have done uh, an Auto Rolled uh, video, but I can't get into the cabinet where I keep my Auto Rolled at right now. There's a bunch of stuff set in front of the doors for the cabinet and I have to organize all the stuff before I can uh, get into the cabinet to get my auto rolled out so I will show my auto rolled uh, chargers and challengers but uh, you'll have to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned next week I might show the premium Plymouths the green light But man, this one it just looks freaking awesome. And then the next one just says Hemi Cuda. So I got a couple variations of the Cuda. This is another one that I think was a Muscle Mania from like the mid 2000s. Really awesome color, too. Love the color of this. Then the next two, I think, were both mainline muscle car releases. The first one, in this like plum purple color. And I got two variations of that. Have it in this light blue color. Definitely like this one more. Then I have another 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. I think uh, I got out, but I didn't show it. Went right into the Kudos. I forgot to show this one. Really cool little detail there, Roadrunner. Nice looking main line. 
So it looks like all these are pretty much main lines. I have one that might have came out in... Oh, the classic series. But... So here's another CUDA. This one was another special release, like for Target or something, for the 4th of July. But... And then I only have one of the Plymouth Duster. And I don't know if this is a newer casting, older casting. I remember this coming out in this Z-Max set. And I never remember seeing it as a mainline or nothing. So comment down below if you know anything about this casting. I didn't... Did not do any research on it, but this is only one I remember. <laughs> and it's only variation I have. Then the next one is another 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. And that one might be from Cool Classics. One of the releases that has like the Spectro Flame paint. Or it might have called it Spectro Frost paint. And then I guess I'll show some Dodge Chargers because they're in this Plymouth case because I ran out of room in my Dodge case. So the first one is going to be a... looks really blue on camera, but it's actually like a turquoise. It's a lot like... A lighter blue color than what's turning out on camera really cool color really cool I don't know why my camera and it seems like everybody's cameras is certain colors especially metallics pinks a uh, couple other colors they they just don't turn out on the camera like they do with the naked eye for some reason and it's a problem that everybody has it doesn't matter if they're recording on a, a real camcorder on their phone or on a GoPro it doesn't matter the green wheels look a little goofy on this but other than that pretty cool but this one just kills it with the white it's just freaking awesome. Awesome, awesome release. Really like the white detail on it and the white rims. Love collecting Hot Wheels main lines. Love going to flea markets and stuff and hunting down old ones. And uh, I just I really enjoy it. Finding them in the store. They do accumulate though. I don't know. I think I have over 30 jammers. So I have over 3,000 Hot Wheels 
Last time I counted, I think I had like 2,400 in jammers just in mainline uh, normal castings. And then I had jammers full of other ones and uh, special releases and everything else. And uh, oh, it was nuts. Still in nuts. I got over 3,000 and I tried to keep them organized the best I can. And it's a constant, constant battle. Every time you go to put cars away, you run out of room. And then you have to find somewhere else to put them. Always try to keep at least one or two jammers that are empty. So when I do put away cars, and I need to transfer some over, but they end up getting used right up. And if you keep your cars in jammers and you have 20 or 30 of them, then you know what I'm talking about. But this is a really cool release in yellow and black. An RT can't beat it. And then as I drop it, we got a... Does not say what it is. So, I'll let somebody down in the comments tell me what it is. But it says Chrysler Group on it. And it says Plymouth on the hood. So, it's in my Plymouth case. And it looks like I got at least three variations of it. Yeah, all of them just say Chrysler Group. So, you can comment down below if you know what. This is, but it says Plymouth on the hood. Huh. Looks a lot like this one. Without the spoiler. And this one says a 71 Plymouth GTX, which... I was going to guess a Plymouth GTX on this, so. Pretty cool looking car. Awesome paint job on it. Either variation, the black or the yellow. It's like the reverse of that. Really cool. Love this combo. This is probably a older muscle car release from uh, Hot Wheels. Probably found at the flea market at the same time, which is one of the reasons I love finding cars at the flea market. Cause sometimes you'll find the seller, they'll have multiple variations. So another 71 GTX in blue. And then the next one is a 71 Plymouth GTX. From like the cool, or from like uh, the classic series or something. Awesome, awesome paint job on it. The classic red line tires. Well, not really the classic ones. Kind of like, I guess the 80s. And this was going to be the last one I was going to show. But if I know my viewers, they're going to want to see the last few on this side of my jammer. So I'm going to show the last few Plymouth after this. But we got another 71 Plymouth GTX in blue. Like a really cool metallic blue. And this one, not a muscle car, but I could see it being a gangster car. 
the 33 Plymouth. And this is probably something somebody could have made into a muscle car or a hot rod. But it really just looks like a gangster car to me. Then the next one we have, which looks really good with this matchbox, is this matchbox, which is a 62 Plymouth. And it kind of looks gangster. But that, them two castings look really good together. And looks like I got one Plymouth station wagon, which somebody could have made it into a hot rod, I guess. This one's kind of hot rodded out, got a hood scoop on it. Could put a, probably came with a big block in it, big old wagon. And then the last casting I'll show today will be the Plymouth Fury, which I have a couple other releases of this, but uh, they're like car culture and stuff, so they're not in this jammer. I think one's a treasure hunt. I don't have the super. I need to get the super someday because there's a super of this. But I got the treasure hunt. Oh, I don't know where it is. And then I have... Uh, Retro Entertainment variation of it. That champion DJK put headlights in it for me. And uh, my Retro Entertainment. My uh, Fast and Furious cars. And a few others. They have their own jammer that they go in. So that's why they're not in here. That's why I didn't dig them out for this video. And then I got cars in the Burgundy car collection. So if any release ever came out in Burgundy, it's going to be in my Burgundy car collection. Which is still packed away in a box. I haven't got it out to display it in the past two years. And it's probably, it's over a thousand cars. Burgundy cars. So... Someday, and there's a possibility I might be moving within the next few months, so I'll have to start over, but hopefully when I move, it will be my forever home, and I can actually build my die-cast room out and do everything the way I want it and the way it will be. But I got some uh, mass car display cases coming that I'm going to hang up and uh, be able to organize a lot more cars. Uh, they should be here this week. Uh, I'll definitely be posting a video when I do that. So make sure and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for that. Uh, should be uh, putting a bunch of awesome cars in them. So think I got five of them coming. I ordered five. So I need eight of them. So I was only going to order four of them. I decided to order five. And then I'll order another three here in a uh, couple weeks or something. And then my walls will be covered. I won't have no wall space left. I have another one of them displays to hang up so to fill that spot right there so that will give me eight hot wheels displays which i like to display my premium hot wheels in besides these two that i display my customs in of course my green machines they have their own 
glass case that they're all in. It's just uh, like your garage sale uh, china hutch cabinet. And that's what I keep my auto rolled in down there. But up here I got the drawers full of die cast. And then down inside, keep my auto rolled all in plastic cases because they used to all come in little boxes that fit in the plastic cases perfectly but seems like organization and uh reorganizing stuff is just an absolute constant battle i actually got a whole wall full of pegs of cars that need organized gone through and everything else and they all just been hanging up there for two years now when I moved in here, I hung up the pegboards, and they've been hanging there for two freaking years. I add to it. I never take from it, but I add to it once in a while. There's two mass car displays. I'm taking that down, and I'm putting four more up in that area there. So I have six up there, and then I have another wall I can fit four, maybe six on. So... And wherever I move, my die cast room will have a drywalled wall that I'll be able to hang up all the displays on. So, something I can take with me anywhere. But, that's all I got to show you for this Muscle Car Monday. Sorry for rambling on there. If you watch through to the end, make a comment. And, uh, have an awesome day.